Hi everyone, my name is Emily Proctor and I'm going to talk about French in North America. The purpose of this story is to show you some of the ways we see French in North America in our everyday lives without even realizing it. I'm sure we've all heard of France, maybe even seen it, but it's a country in Europe and there's a big ocean between us. So how did French end up in North America? I'm sure we've all heard the, about the battles or read about them between the French and the English over the conquest of North America and while the French did fight valiantly, valiantly um, English is predominantly spoken in America. But what about Canada? What if there's this province called Quebec where actually French is spoken more than English and because of that um, most documents or important things that you'll see in Canada have to be in English and French because of the province of Quebec. So let's take this a little bit further south. What about Mardi Gras? I'm sure we've all heard of it or maybe thought it was just a funky spelled holiday, but that actually has French origins. Now moving away from that, if you've ever looked at the label on your cosmetics, you might notice that a lot of them have the ingredients or instructions in French. This is true in our grocery stores as well for things like produce and any other sort of natural type food that you might get. In addition to both of these things, we have bread. <laughs> bread is one thing that we can um, attribute to the French that we still see today. And what's better than bread? Cheese. Cheese is another thing that we got from the French and so now that we've talked about food, what about some funky words that you've maybe said but never thought about, like déjà vu or cul-de-sac? All of these words are French words and we use them in English. Now that we've explored this a little bit, I hope that you have a greater understanding of a culture outside of your own and you think you know the Eiffel Tower but you know more. So make sure to look wherever you are, look around, explore and try and find French as much as you can in the world around us. So to summarize, French is everywhere, whether it be spoken, whether it be spoken French or written French, it's an important language in North America. Aside from the language, it's a part of our history in North America, and we live in such a wonderful place where we speak both languages. And here are the credits, and thank you so much.